Hey folks, okay, uh, short, another short video here. We just did one the other day on the little uh, tip on the screw top, or the screws in the, the paint cans. Now I want to redo one that we had done, I don't know, a couple months ago on one of the Friday Night Lives. But the problem with what I did on that was that fact that we didn't have a camera we, we film our Friday Night Lives with an iPad and can't really get in close and show you what I'm doing as well as the camera, our regular camera. So I want to kind of redo that and talk about this a little bit. So if you are doing something that has to have white in the background or even on top of an outset letter, what I suggest to do is pre-finish your board. And that's what I've got here is, and this is actually the same board that I used when I did the Friday Night Live. So this has got four coats of Halcyon. So let's say for instance, you wanna do a white background or, or it could be any kind of background and you're, gonna, uh, and you're not gonna spray it in there. The reason I don't use white spray is because when you carve your sign like normal and you use a white spray then sand it off then attack and then put your finish over the top of that it will turn that white yellow almost always not necessarily there are some water based finishes that won't do that but because I use one shot and this is an exterior paint this is made for pinstriping I think the easiest way to do it is uh, which is what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and finish everything whether you're going to do an outset letter like this and when I do a, a paint outset letters I always put my finish on first almost always I think there's only been once or twice where I didn't um, and then you can apply your white especially if you're going to use white so let's just uh, show you how easy it is so the white that I'm going to use, again, is the one shot. I don't know why I put that there. That's about all I need. Put my screw back in. Carefully. End up with white all over my screwdriver. Yeah. So that should seal that back up. Um, now, this is oil-based, so I've got some paint thinner here. I'm just going to, uh, I don't have to be real careful about putting the, the white down in the, in the groove, or even if I get some on top. It doesn't really matter, because I'm just going to use a paper towel and this will cover just fine. Now, it's, uh, I got a question the other day. They wanted to put stain on a board and then um, paint the letters white. So if this was, it, let's say this was a piece of pine and you wanted to stain it with some uh, cedar stain or whatever kind of stain you wanted, the process would be the same. Just go ahead and stain it and then put your finish on and whether the, um, you know, just put your stain all over the whole thing, put your finish on, then you can go back and you can paint the background or you can paint the outset letters. I don't need to do the whole thing. That's as much as I need to do right there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, a little bit of paint thinner on a paper towel. And should wipe right off. So you just don't have to be really careful about it. There it is. And guys, again, I am not an expert at all of this stuff, all of this painting and finishing and knowing all the chemicals and what works together and what doesn't. I just try things and it seems to work. And then I pass that on to you guys. So there you've got, and then you could go back and paint these outset letters whatever color you wanted, whether it would be black or whatever. 
and then you just wipe off that excess paint thinner and white so it works really good so again if you're going to stain a board and you want a white background or white outset letters you can pre-finish it and then just do it this way it's it's nice and simple and clean and it just uh, is not that big a deal so uh, again I would rather for colors I would rather spray that before I finish it and then put a finish over the top that's the way I would do the background like I do black with most of my stuff but if I'm gonna do colors and I have the spray then I'm gonna do that before I uh, apply a finish if I'm doing white then I will apply a finish first and then do my white that way it doesn't yellow or, or that and, and you can use oil based or water based uh, finish and it won't make any difference because you're putting your white over the top so that was just another quick little tip guys again a kind of a redo of uh, a Friday video that we did I don't know a month or two ago so I hope this is helpful uh, next week you guys will see a lot of carving a big project I'm working on right now I'm kind of about halfway through it so you'll see some videos on that and uh, it's coming out really good I think it I think you guys are really gonna be happy with it it's kind of a, a surprise so anyway you guys will see that uh, videos next week I don't know that's gonna be two videos maybe three I'm not sure anyway so I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. If you need supplies, there is uh, the website. And please comment. Let us know what you think of these videos. Every comment that we get, it just makes us look a little bit better with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do new videos every week. So. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.